Let's do one more manifestation meditation. This one is a fun one. I think you guys will enjoy it. It's a little less technical than the tapping, which again, tapping is very powerful if that small thing that we did together appeals to you. Um, you can take lessons in this. You can study it. There are, you know, videos, websites, books. Um, I, of course, would not be your go-to person for that. I kind of shared with you the, the majority of what I could share. <laughs> but um, what I would like you to do at this moment is we are going to do a small meditation where we are going to run, like when you're in life, you have a line of energy that's connected to your soul, always, always, because you are an aspect of your soul. So we are going to go up that line. It's called the Hara line. We're going to go up that line to our soul. Your soul is made of your soul's energy. Like, you know, when we're not in physical form, we don't have limbs and stuff. We're like pure energy, like the way the angels are, just a different frequency. And all of your past lives and all the energy of your future lives, you know, they're all there connected. Like when we are not in life, when we are our soul, our souls are a collective of all the lives you have lived and all the lives you will live, along with your soul's energy, your your souls living sentient you know constantly doing things energy so you are basically a collective of yourself and when you are in life you are a 3d physical emissary of the collective that is your soul and then your soul has a soul family of other souls and they kind of like, they're studying together, they grow together, they evolve together. You're in the kind of the same resonance and the frequency and the same lessons. And each one of those souls has, is a collective of all of their past lives, plus the primary, you know, being of each soul, which is the soul itself. So when you are in life, you can connect with your soul and all of your lives. They're always happy to like help guide you as you're going through life. And you have your soul family and all of their lives. And then you have souls that are friends, neighbors, part of your overall community. You may have someone that um, they're not part of your soul family, but you guys have incarnated together a lot because you do that well. Or, you know, souls that you work with, you know, when you're in your soul shape, like we have our own life, our own stuff going on up there. You know, we're not just mindless blobs. So we are going to go up and bond with our souls and then connect with our soul families and then invite that energy to go forward because we'll invite all who feel very connected to your soul, all the souls to come close and connect and bond and then bring that energy back to earth so that anyone who is in any way connected to your soul, your soul family, your close friends and teachers and peers up there that is in an incarnation at this moment. And we'll bring it back to you. And then you will call out and say, hey, I'm looking for friends and we'll see what happens. Okay. This is fun, and I'm telling you, this is a very effective technique. Very effective. The one thing is you need to have full faith and really be in the moment. Like, 
trust that you have this ability to connect and call out. If you fully believe it, it happens. And if you don't fully believe it, if you're blocking, then go through and say, okay, what in here is blocking? You can go through the fun process of releasing. I always, always, always honor my blockages because they let me know, oh, right here, I'm blocked. Excellent. What do I need to heal and release? What do I need to work on? They always let you know, do not ignore your blocks. Honor them because they will always guide you to the dysfunctioning element in your amazing system of self and what like needs to be healed or released. Okay, are you ready? Great. So, relax. It doesn't matter if your eyes are open or closed. Give your body permission to just relax and flow. Give your body permission to be in charge of itself. Be self-managing, self-maintaining while you put your focus on other things. So if there's any tension or discomfort or pain anywhere in your body, unless of course a little stretch or shifting position is what you need. But if you find anything that's just like tight, acknowledge it, thank it for trying to protect you for so long, but give it permission to take a break and relax. And invite all the energy in your body just to flow and release. Release down your feet, release out from your body, emanating. Release out your mind, everything just to release. Invite the top of your head to feel open, relaxed. Feel like there's like a line of energy or a column of energy. That comes from above and connects to you. This is your horror line. It comes right in through your crown chakra. Your soul maintains this connection for you. You don't even need to do anything in life. Your soul maintains the horror line so that your soul can constantly feed you energy and love and to observe what you're doing in life. If you feel any pain or pressure in your head, acknowledge it, give it permission to resolve yourself. If you feel any queasiness in your body, this is just your body immediately responding to this energy flowing in. Invite it to align itself and open up. Invite your body to relax and receive without any discomfort. Your horror line connects you to your soul. Of course, each of us are unique. Our senses, our skills, our sharp awarenesses are unique for each of us. So invite your soul to broaden the energy of the horror line out wider so that it's like a tube flowing all around you as wide as you are comfortable with. Invite the horror line to flow out so that it's flowing in the top of your head and around you easing any pressures on you for you are now floating in the circumference of the horror line. If you'd like, you can even stretch it out so wide that when you open your arms and spread them out, your fingertips don't even come near the edges. 
you're just floating in this beautiful loving energy from your soul to you. And invite your soul to connect with you through whichever of your senses naturally opens and receives. It could be through your gut instinct, your sacral chakra, or it could be a feeling of opening in your heart, or it could be you hear someone whispering outside of your ears or inside the back of your mind, or visions. Or just a feeling, a sense of knowingness. However your senses are comfortably initially receiving your soul's love and connection. Acknowledge whatever you receive. And invite it to open and connect. As you open and respond, you very naturally find yourself rising up in this horror line as your soul is flowing down, completely enveloping you into the center of your soul's being. You are who you are but you are also an aspect of your soul. Allow yourself to just return home, meshing, being one with your soul. Don't worry. You will still be who you are as you are one within your soul. Beautiful. You may feel the beautiful, benevolent power of your soul's essence. There are also all of your other lives, your past lives, other lives that are happening now. The energy that is waiting to become future lives, all are with you. You are a collective of yourself. Allow yourself to just feel this connection. Be aware of how many lives you have been before this life and how many lives you will be after. Acknowledge that you are a wise old soul. As you are resonating, the totality of your soul and your lives, be aware that around you, you are connected to your soul family, each one of whom is a collective just like you, and each one of whom resonates in a frequency that is in perfect attunement with yours. Allow yourself to just let your energy receive, connect. Be 
You may even find yourself becoming one with your soul family and all the beauty within each collective of each member of your soul family. For you are each beautiful, beautiful spirits of multiple lives. You can feel how much kindred friendship and automatic guaranteed support there is between all of you. You are literally eternally there for each other. Your connection goes on even further to your soul friends, to those that you work with. When you're in soul level, work isn't a day job. It's what energetic frequencies you are most aligned with. So those that you work with are in alignment with you. You are like a symphony of energy together, always in beautiful, loving harmony. Just allow yourself to let this connection flow. Each and every soul that you are connected with, and you may find this connection spreading even as I am speaking, spreading wider. Each and every one has a life on earth at the moment or is watching over lives on earth. Each and every one is connected to one or five, a hundred, a thousand lives that they are watching over and assisting their friends as they are watching over. Invite them to show you these lines of connection they have down to people on earth. However this presents to you, it may be visual. You may see a globe with lines of light coming down and spots on earth lighting up. Or it may be the emotions of the gratitude all these souls have for the lives that they are watching over, no matter what experiences these lives are having. It may be just the majesty of these connections, forming grids, networks of interconnected energy and love. See how much love and compassion, caring concern each of these souls has to every life that they are connected to, every life they are watching over. Feel how much absolute love is flowing for every single one of these lives.
invite this loving energy that is flowing to each of these people to flow back and connect directly to you. For every one of these people on earth at this moment is connected to a soul that has a very loving relationship with your soul. So invite this love to continue. Your soul is connected with love to all of these souls. All of these souls and your soul are connected to people who are alive. You may even see that your soul is connected to more than you, watching out for members of your soul family or those who asked your soul to watch out for them while they were in life. Invite all this energy of love to flow through, fill each of these lives with pure love from their souls, just as your soul is filling you with pure love. And invite this love to flow back to you. you will find the love is ever flowing. You see, there are so many people in life that you are suddenly aware that you are connected to. Some of these people, their life path is taking them to places that will not cross with yours. Some of these people are experiencing karmic lessons that also will not cross with your life. But the love connects. And some of these people feel this energy. And they can feel it in their hearts. And they respond. They respond. You will appear in their lives. They will appear in your lives. Call out all of these people in life that our souls are connected to us. We are bonded through soul love. I invite you to meet with me and see if our life paths are ready to harmoniously bring us together as soul friends, soul family, soul love, soul harmony, to help each other as we're navigating our life paths. Invite this love to fill back in your heart. This love that began with you and grew through your soul, through the soul realm, down to many lives back to you. Invite it back to fill your essence. And if you find any pains or blocks or unnecessaries, acknowledge them and work with them. Do they wish to be released or to flow with love so that you may Honor your soul's desire for you to be filled with pure love and compassionate joy. That your life may become cluttered with wonderful, loving, compatible soul friends.
Oh, that's beautiful. So let's return, let's come back, but go ahead, hold on to this feeling, hold on to it. And if you'd like, you can go back later and rejoin your soul. I guarantee you have a lot of past lives and wonderful soul family that would love to hang out with you.